buttons and things. Let's start off with things first and then I'll show you how to do buttons. Real quick, here is my profile. You can add all kinds of connections. So I don't know why, but my Flickr added twice. Don't know how to fix that, but it's, it's a work in progress, right? I've added my DeviantArt Gallery. I've added my, I've connected my Twitter. Uh, I've connected Facebook and I've connected Instagram. So Instagram actually now has their web stuff up. So this is content that I do. I only publish things that I actually pretty much I make or it's public domain. Like this is Matahari and that's very old. That's public domain, but it's like I've used the program to change things. Here's Matahari, Matahari, Matahari. As you can tell, I like Matahari. There she is again. That's like 100 years ago, almost, something like that. This is your activity. So here's activity. People that have added me, people I've added back. Um, add me, so I can add you. And then here are your things. And this will show flatters. You can turn this off if you don't want anybody to know. Now, I don't have any flatters because obviously I haven't given any. I would like to in the future. I would very much like to because I do believe that this is a very good thing. So, now, people who have connected to me, they don't have any things. That's because this is a little tricky. Um, to a programmer, I'm pretty sure this uh, is simple, it's easy. And a lot of the bloggers are like, oh, this is so easy. But, it's tricky. Now, just to give you an example of the kinds of stuff that I have. Now, I am like a scatterbrain, so I have many different types of content. Okay, so just to make this clear, if you're watching this, if you are a teacher, if you are a dancer, if you are a musician, if you are a yoga teacher, if you are a Zen master, if you are, I don't know, a stage actor, if you are a blogger, if you are a gamer, if you're socializing on the internet and you have content everywhere, if you have an Instagram, here's my Instagram, if you have a Tumblr, I have a Tumblr, say button, I put my button here, right over here, right? I have added, here's my videos, I put their little, the buttons here. Um, this was me trying to explain to people, you know, this stuff works. Let's, let's, let's try this out. Let's experiment with this. I will just really quick try and explain to you what my things are here. And I have several different kinds and it works. This is a photo. These are photos from Flickr that I added. This is a, my pirate character, Marshall Candies, Marshall Candies. This is someone flattered my Twitter account. You can flatter someone's Twitter account. And from what I've looked it looks like you could flatter someone's actual tweets um that's a little i don't know how to explain that at the second these are video blogs i did and these ones are about flatter <clears throat> i'm trying to demystify this stuff for you guys so you understand it because a lot of you guys are layman's and don't get it and i don't mean that like dismissively like to put you down but you, if you knew the stuff it would be easy but if you it required you guys to do some thinking I think that's where a lot of people tripped up. So we have, these are sets from Flickr that I did. There's one of my daughter. Okay, so this is an example of Facebook. I've connected Facebook and I added a, my fan page of for my art, which I am very diverse and eclectic. And this is my main art fan page. This is my, char my pirate character, Marshall Candice. A fan page I did for that. Then I have the blogs. So I have three of my blogger blogs. I have a photography blog because photographers and artists don't always mingle together in a harmonious way. They don't always agree with each other or necessarily even like each other, which is kind of awkward for me <laughs> because I'm one of the type of artists that likes photography and video as well. Here is my main blog for my art. And this is just one where it's like thoughts and opinions. It's just a typical, I, I don't know, typical, typical, but it's blogging, blogging, blogger, blogger stuff, blog stuff. Then you can see I put the picture there of me 
<clears throat> with my pirate hat. Now we have uh, my YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube ch channel or several, you can add it to your things. Deviant art. Deviant art. Here's my gallery here, which I got, which somebody actually flattered. Thank you. Um, Tumblr. This is my Tumblr page. See, I have the button. There's the button. I have, uh, you can add buttons into the posts as well, like into the things you publish. Like here's me adding the Flickr videos. Not Flickr, Flatter. Ah! Tongue twister. Here's a sketch I did, DeviantArt. Another example of art. Here's a furry art. That's a tiger thingy. Okay, so many, many kinds of quote unquote things that you can add to Flatter. At this point, you're probably thinking, well, how do I add stuff to Flatter? Well, I'm going to show you. The easiest way to do it is either you go to the bottom of the page. Pretty much right now, it's February 2013, so any page that you're on, you can scroll down. But I'm going to take you to the dashboard first. So we click Dashboard. And here, here's some more explanation stuff. Are you following along? Um, this shows you right here. It says notifications. Um, things that you've done. Now you probably have blank everything because you're confused and you don't know what to do. Okay, I'm like the little elf and you're the shoemaker and I'm gonna try and help you out here. Okay. So there's people I've followed uh, or people who follow, followed me and I followed back. Okay, so things and buttons. Let's do things. This would be your list of things, but you don't have any. So you're thinking, how do I put things into my flatter? Okay, glad you asked. Scroll down here, and you will see this, what looks like a graphic of a city. It looks like it's mainly in vectors, but this sort of part looks like it's a pix pixel graphic, because it looks texturized to me, but I don't know, I could be wrong. If you don't know, uh, Vectors and pixels, just ignore what I just said. That's probably too techie talked for you. So this city, <laughs> I think this might be another reason why people are scared of this stuff right now. It does look sort of creepy. It's scary. It's like a ominous looking city. Here's a rolling field and then it comes into this, I don't know, like a dead plowed earth hill or whatever. And then there's like this shadowy city behind it with a cityscape. We have some kind of mountains of Mordor or something. And then we have these sort of pollution looking clouds and these birds are like, get away! And then these are the birds from Mordor and they're like, ah, ah! and then we have the Red Dawn and they're d -d 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 scary. Okay. Um, if this looks scary to you, I want you to calm down, okay? 10-2, 10-2, because it's not scary. So you go to, here, you see all these things? See all this stuff here? Okay? Don't understand English, we got it in other languages. But, if you notice, no, I think this is probably what a lot of people are going to go through. They're going to go, okay, well, I want to figure this out, and I'll click the FAQ. So you'll go to FAQ, and you're just like, huh, what do I do? I'm overwhelmed. You read these things, and this like, and you're still like, huh? So, I'm just gonna make this real easy, instead of going through all that stuff. Tools. This is all you need to know to add your things. See here? Add to Flatter. Right here. Add to Flatter. Bam. This is it. This is where you add to Flatter. You put in your URL. If you do not know what a URL is, I will explain it to you. It's very easy. It says, see how it says, the page where you want to place the button. What does that mean if you don't understand, if you've never done programming, if you don't understand this stuff? Okay, this up here, that HTTP, here we go, here's one. They're here, they're here, they're here, okay? If it's www, whatever it is, that's a, a web address, and the web address is called a URL. So if you didn't know that, now you do. And I, it's sad because I do have to explain that to people because pretty much every day people don't even understand what a hashtag is. And there's a lot of techie tech talk that people don't understand. So URL. You put your URL here. 
that will be like, for example, this. I want people, if you want people to go here, if you want, if your Instagram's connected, don't worry about that. Whatever it is you want to add your thing. Type in a title. Now, is it images? Is it video? Is it whatever? Do you have images, video, audio, software, people, other? You can write a description. You add your tag. Separate it with a comma. See? Separate it with a comma. And then you pick your language. Um, this is the only thing that I think, I just wish that, that there was a way to do multiple languages and I wish there was a way that maybe like a unicode I know you don't if you don't understand that just just forget what I said this is if you don't want this thing to be it says don't show this thing in listings on flatter I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that but if you don't want to do that you can click this box and then you click submit all right now I will show you more so once you've submitted your stuff here's just an example of what's gonna come up you will have all this coding programming stuff that comes up okay so if you've never if you're like probably like newer to the internet if you're either a a newer generation kind of person like you're younger you're a young teen and you don't and you've, you're just starting to get into this or if you're an older person and you just started to get connect to the internet and so you've never you weren't one of the generation where everyone was doing blogging uh, like for example live journal and dead journal and many other things and your way of communicating with people now is through microblogging like Twitter and Facebook this won't make sense to you because you've never learned it you're just you've just had a crash course into the internet and you've and it's all been made so easy and convenient for you and you've sort of so so that you don't have to use your mind or your brain to think about things so I'm gonna just explain this to you like you don't have to even understand what this scripting really says and what it really is but I can tell you what to do with it okay so these are examples of buttons right that you could place onto your content onto the net now you've already had it published so it the the flitter Twitter, flatter <laughs> database will remember it okay so even if someone flatters it and it doesn't have a button which there's a way to do that um, it will remember it theoretically so uh, this one here is a two-part code you insert this one in the head of some of the content and then you put this one uh, as well right now if you don't understand that, okay, just forget it. If you wanted to use this button, I would just say copy this, paste it, then uh, go, then copy this one next to it. Um, same thing here. This is a two-part. Okay, if that's too difficult, you try one-step thing. So you would select it all like that. You would copy it, and then you would paste it into something. So here's another one right here. Really easy. But you'll notice that some of these, because you have different types of coding, this is a QR code, this is static button, this is a compact button with counter, large button with counter, okay? So some sites that you use content on will let you to pr uh, program things into it, whereas others will, they have like, it's a smart it's like a smart scripting site and it doesn't want you to do that and it will block it. It will it will automatically understand, oh, this is sending something somewhere else. I think the reason is because they, they will view other kinds of codes as they think it's spam or they think it's viruses or they think it's some something naughty. Now, as you can see, I have, I've definitely added stuff to Tumblr. I've added stuff to the posts. Um, that makes it very easy. But you will notice, for example, when I go to Flickr, there's no buttons. There's no no buttons. And even when I go into Share, you won't see uh, um, you won't see Flatter on there, right? But does that mean it's not there? No, no, it does not mean that. It's definitely connected. In theory, somebody could like anything that you did on Flatter, and then they could Flatter it, and it it should show up di directly connected to you. Now, if you're not if you're not connecting certain sites, that's why obviously I have a lot of things. So I have all of these things. I have lots of them, and there are many different types of sites from all over the globe, all types of different types of content. So I would say, I would recommend to you just add 
as much of the, at least the base, if it's a gallery front, if it's a, a profile, if it's a, you know, whatever it is, at least try and add as many as you can, because that way we know it's connected to you, especially if it's not one of these specific ones, you have the option to, you know, add more on there, right? Now suppose you've already published something and you want the script again, very easy, for example, here. If you wanted to show someone like the direct thing that they could flatter your specific whatever, this is it. It has your profile here, the profile picture. It has, usually it's a, either it's a graphic, if it's an image it will be that. Other times it will have its own preset image, like if it's a text thing. As for Flickr, if you notice that Flickr content, you could spend all that time putting in the tags and putting in the descriptions and then publish it and then it will just deliberately forget or ignore whatever it is you just typed even if you spent like 20 minutes doing it and it will just refill it in like for example I didn't type this I didn't I didn't type these and then after I published it it just it did that we can come right back to my embed code and there it is right there so it's not lost it's not lost it's still there and it's not hard it's not really hard it's just a little tricky all right one final note I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you another example of a button so this is for example this is a DeviantArt right here it's one of the oldest and biggest um, art and creativity sharing websites in the entire world I've been on this site since the 90s, pretty much, I think. I think it was the 90s, maybe 99, something like that. 99, 2000, somewhere around there. And um, it gives you all kinds of really good stuff for free. Like, right now, I'm not on a paid account anymore, so... And you still get all this cool features for free. So, I do have a button from Flatter. Um, I managed to get this button to work. So if you want to add the, the button to your DeviantArt account, go to your Deviant ID, and then you would click edit this widget, and then you would type in, you would add the, you would paste the code right here. Now hopefully a lot of people in DeviantArt already know some coding stuff, because it's, you kind of need to know some of the basics for coding, so I, I wouldn't think that coding and a little bit basic programming would be that hard for deviant art users because I figure you guys pretty much know it if you're using blogger and you're using live journal and you at least have a you know customized it a bit I would hope that you would at least understand some coding stuff so that probably wouldn't be that difficult for you guys as for everyone else um, if you're really new to the internet or you've only been using the internet for a few years and you don't know this stuff, this is going to be hard for you, probably. It's going to be like, huh, I'm really confused, and yeah. But to everyone else who's been doing this, either who's been making content on the internet or, or is a programmer, like you guys went to college for it, or you're just savvy that way, of course, they're all like, oh, this is so easy. So I hope that helps.